Are you thinking about buying a home on Cape Cod and not sure which town is the best fit for you? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Linda Whitcomb with William Ravis Real Estate. I'm a realtor right here in Cape Cod. So if you've never been here before, welcome. What I talk about is everything Cape Cod and a little bit of Cape Cod real estate. If you'd like to learn more, there are links down below. Or if you always want to stay in touch, subscribe. I publish weekly videos every Thursday. So Cape Cod villages and towns. I'm going to share with you my five personal favorites today. So come on and take a look. Our first town, which is not a town, in fact, it's a village. It's the village of Osterville, which is one of the seven villages of Barnstable. It has nearly 3,500 residents, many of which are summer residents only. It's located on the south side on Nantucket Sound. The village of Osterville also features an island. There's a field drawbridge, that welcomes you to a gated community of luxury homes and a private golf course. Osterville's classic Main Street is peppered with cheese shops and fine restaurants. Osterville also has one of the oldest privately owned gardens and parks here in Cape Cod, the Armstrong Kelly Park. We also feature a marina in Crosby Boatyard where the cat boats were built many, many years ago, and they're featured in a cat boat museum. So if you're looking for a quiet summer residence or a place to call home year round, Osterville could be the place for you. Next on our list is Yarmouth. Yarmouth's population is about 23,000, located in about the mid Cape area. So if the Cape is shaped like an arm, Yarmouth is kind of over here. It has a bustling year round economy, the south side has several beaches and most of where our commercial um, shopping is and all sorts of activities for year round and seasonal homeowners. On the north side of Yarmouth, where you'll find Yarmouth Port, you'll consider that a little bit more quieter, a little bit more residential. So with so much to do in Yarmouth and being centrally located, it's a very popular um, town to live in. Next on our list, is the town of Dennis. Dennis actually has five distinctive villages within it. With about a population of 18,000 folks, it's a bustling community of both year round and summer homeowners. It is the last stop of Mid Cape villages um, on the Cape. So if this is Cape Cod and this is Chatham, Dennis is your last stop. It's about midway. So if you were considering where to live and didn't want too much of a drive, uh, maybe about 25 minutes from one of our bridges with normal traffic will get you into uh, the town of Dennis. Dennis also boasts to be the cultural center of Cape Cod, and rightfully so. It has one of the oldest active playhouses in the country, uh, museums and arts and artists all over the place. Next on our list is Sandwich. The town of Sandwich is just over the Sagamore Bridge. So if you're looking for a short commute to Cape Cod, Sandwich might be the town for you. It is the oldest town on Cape Cod, established in the 1600s. You'll find old captain's homes and seafaring ships' homes and homes built from ship parts as well. Sandwich has a population of about 20,000 people in a beautiful boardwalk that goes out to Town Neck Beach. This boardwalk was featured and voted as one of the top 10 boardwalks in the United States. So you can only imagine how beautiful this town is. You'll see people waving and walking their dogs all the time. The Cape Cod Canal also hosts a bike path um, several miles long where people walk up and down, stop at fish markets and go home with their dinner. Sandwich also, again, has some of the oldest homes on Cape Cod. I recently sold one built in 1699 and it is as classic and as beautiful as the day it was built. And last on our list is Chatham. Chatham is about halfway from the Cape Cod Canal to the tip 
of Provincetown. It's a midway point right at the southeast tip of Cape Cod. It's a small population, a little hamlet, if you will, of about 6,100 folks. Its main hub is its quaint downtown Main Street where most of the community's focus and activities are. Chatham also boasts commercial fishermen and its most popular Chatham Lighthouse. That's our roundup of five villages on Cape Cod. If you're thinking about buying a home, you might want to click the link below. I have a whole relocation guide. You may be interested in my virtual home hunting services. Many buyers are starting from other states and other countries. And this is a way that I can demonstrate and show you homes before you even get to the Cape. So I really appreciate you visiting us, visiting me today and listening to this video. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any new and interesting videos I have about Cape Cod and Cape Cod real estate.